We're here at Don't Tax My Period and I was very glad to be invited as a panelist to talk about kind of the ground realities that people have, uh, that women and uh, young girls have uh, in dealing with their periods uh, and how difficult it is really. There are many grim realities for women uh, across the island in how they manage their period in access to period products, in access to sanitation, uh, in access to water and infrastructure that will help enable them to do what they are supposed to do on a daily basis. So this is a really wonderful way to um, have this conversation as a panel but also the research that has been produced from the years of research uh, that has been the, the energy and the effort that has been put in hopefully uh, in terms of policy uh, will be something that in the next few years we can see become a reality. We're at this event, um, the launch of the study report on period poverty and it went really well. Um, and we're really happy because it was the first time the study was done that really calculated the cost of period poverty which was 50% which has never been done before. That shows to say that um, only 50% of households um, actually spend any amount of money in relation to any product that is related to buying uh, menstrual hygiene products on their, in their monthly budget. And um, some of the very interesting findings that did come out of the study was that um, uh, although we're taxed 52% for all sanitary napkins, the government only makes 0.005% in total revenue, um, which in totality, if you take a look at it, the opportunity cost of imposing this tax is higher on the state because this reduces the amount of women and girls participating in school and in the workforce. So therefore, um, if we can take off this tax, it actually increases the amount of um, active participation of women and girls and we urge um, everybody in uh, who has been here uh, who is watching us live who've been connecting us um, through uh, various platforms to um, continue the work that you're doing we stand in solidarity um, and we hope that um, the voices we heard today and the work that we've done uh, carry for carry forward and we are able to make uh, larger changes